To the tail they go this time for Arno Buerta. It's a low. And quickly shuffled back for Adrian Strauss. Real momentum for the Springboks here. Power. And over. Third test try for Adrian Strauss. In jersey number 21, there he is at the base of the ruck, the man who's applied his trade for Treviso, having moved to Italy from South Africa. Now Havana, with an opportunity at the middle, Brian Havana, creating a try scoring opportunity from almost nothing. Not a reflection. With the clearance and Emil Brecht operating on that right wing. Here's Stein and LaRue. Passon with De Villiers to his left and Jean De Villiers. The Sando for Aguero. And Buertas de Bernardo looping around. Well, it was a loose pass and Passon is onto it. Bjorn Basson will streak away for South Africa's fifth try. His first in Test Rugby. A moment to savour. Now the irony is it, it had very little effect on the play, but it, you could see the cynicism in it. He was looking for a banner. Kriya with the take. Kalisi in possession first, then Adrian Strauss. He scored a try from a mall this time last week in Durban. And the Springboks mall finally gaining some momentum. Penalty try. He wasn't able to get, to get it to the line, but Roman put in. Feet of the line out. Lawson to the tail, straight over the top. Pinar for Kalisi. Quick ball for the Springbok. Stein cuts out a man. Emil Brecht for Havana and inside to LaRue. But it was Bjorn Besson. Jean-Ray Crea. six. Very flat from Stein and the Scottish defence reading it well as they wrapped up. Marcel could see it. Pinar again. Numbers here for South Africa. Crea. Leroux and Emil Brecht Pinot gets again, this time for Etzebeth and Tauruna just having been penalised now they have to roll away from him well Scott Lawson Dangerously close to being offside. LaRue. And Emerbrecht! So Bismarck Duplessis inside the final minute. Kia secures for South Africa. Shuffled through the hands what? of Khaleesi to Bismarck Duplessis. But the Scots have defended South Africa's more exceptionally well. Seven ten. Yes, seven ten. There it is. And reset in terms of getting the leg drive. Same again. This time it's Francois Lowe decided to realize that that mall had gone down. Good decision by the flanker. Engelbrecht. Leroux has dodged a tackle. Here goes Habana. So Brian Habana scores the try, but look at Billy Leroux. Started the game poorly with a drop pass and a knock on, but he's made it all up in one little magic moment here. It's sure oh, South Africa just need to show more patience with ball in hand in the red zone and finish off. They had their chances. They could have scored a lot earlier. Well, they could do here from Pierre Spruce's catch. 
The guy in the drive over the long track time it is. And I think it's Francois Lowe in position. It will be his fourth try in Test Rugby. Oh. Well, very present last week. Come on. Present of a try this holding, week. Okay, and he may have grounded it, but I think that whole Springbok pack of forwards will be claiming this one. Us in our commentary position here, one of the best in world rugby. Well, a bit of a scramble and sewer oh, yeah. under pressure oh, yeah. again. They turned it over. Strauss, a lovely ball for Albert. Saying the Villiers. Engel Brass flying on the outside. He's burst the tackle. Lovely step. Beautiful try. Almost out of nothing. Turn over ball. So hard to defend against. The ball moved very quickly wide. Likely so. And JJ Engelbrecht, what a talent he is. Pace, pace, pace. Some good stepping and some good strength, but out and out pace. It's his third try for South Africa, and well, it's a real good one. He had plenty of work to do. Albert's very nearly grabbed it. Just does. Nice work by Pinot. Now staying, they need to straighten. Lovely hands, LaRue. Beyond the sun! Awarded immediately by Pascal Gozer. It was the quick ball, the speed of the ball moving out to the wing that was put absolutely pivotal. But most importantly, Billy Leroux once again taking the ball to the line. Time on. He's replaced Leroux. Now can the Springboks keep it in? Oh, Pino opens it up for Banner. That's number 50, and what a record it is. The highest try scorer ever for South Africa, the highest try scorer ever at Loftus first felt. And so simple, but so clever, and just reward for a man who has given his heart and soul for every single team he's played for. Well, they can hopefully now they've got an overlap here. Will this be the moment for Banner? It's Mourne Sand, and Mourne Sand doesn't need them. He had Engelbrecht and a Banner, and the fly half gets in for his eighth test try. Looks like he dived the over the it's ball fine. there. Pick up and go by Alberts. He just to suck them in a little bit and just to prevent the Samoans from spreading their defense. Strong work by Jean de Creer. Now Van Sale getting it away to his words. The drive and rumble. And the referee looks like he will call a timeout yeah. and go to see if Francois Lowe has got his second try. So, is it a good plant? Well, you can plant it with your forearm. It's a try, no doubt about it. And this last stanza of the, of the second half, they need to be calm, they need to believe in the system. The setup needs to be good. Avoid the speed bumps. There's one of them. Low comes away. Low. Francois Low. Dislodged. And you can't do it. But let's see. The referee's also let go. And I think he wants to go on a decision as to whether Francois Low has a hatchet tonight. But the referee now has decided I'm going to have a look at it. Oh, maybe he hasn't blown his whistle. No, yeah, he has. <laughs> yeah. The try, okay. okay well, thank no, you. I'm not sure that he can award Time the try. Okay. The whistle has gone. But Chaman Yukani is on the scoreline. Look at this. <laughs> Celebrations for the young man from Limpopo. As well, first requirement fulfilled. John Clear working hard, calling his troops What's to try harder.
It's more Stop. patient this time, isn't it? It's just in possession. Oh, that's, a penalty. that's a penalty. That, that might have been a penalty, penalty trial. Yeah, he's just done it, Glenn. Come on, please. Landajo, Sanchez. Now they've got men out in midfield there. It is uh, Ricky Zamor. Good pick up by Camacho. Now Mono's down. And Rui And here we go. And it's JJ Yamadet who will run away for his fourth try in five test matches. That the lead by 26 points to six. Puma's coach played over 40 tests himself for them. Now, Jean-Rec Crea have driven well off the line out of the Pumas, but the South Africa eight just regrouping. What's half? On John Strauss. Can he get his fourth try in test rugby? I think he can. Strauss with the throw. He's been spot on this evening. No problem. Spot on. He's, been, he's having a fantastic game. Now to Villa Malbus, can he thunder his way over? And a chance given. Reed Dupree will earn his uh, 63rd cap for South Africa. Last time he played was the Rugby World Cup 2011 in the quarterfinals. For Reed Dupree, now playing out of Santore San Goliath. Launches a high one. Now, chance here for John de Villiers to just say thank you very much anticipated it perfectly and Jean de Villiers gets his 22nd try in international Sit. well the acoustics in this crowd absolutely amazing what a massive crowd in terms of seats available here but Jean de Villiers has done the job again looking around where's Habana he finds Pagani Habana Time out, Joe. Went to the referee. TMO decision on this. Abdano is so close. There it goes. The try is given. It's a good clearance. Abdano, Lambi. Men doubling back quickly. Lambi decides to go. Oh, look at the acceleration of this. Kalisi, right up. Beautiful play by Patrick Lambi. Back inside the Pumas 22. Stein. This mark to proceed. And then uh, work back again. This is Bjorn Basson. Dupria, Kalisi. We'll set the rack again. Dupria, the good numbers here, South Africa. It's a bit. Fats of one, fats of another. Dupria again. And Habana! Finally gets the try. Better scrum from Bekras Jenka. And it's a hit against the head. You're going to see quite a lot of that in the future, I think. John Stafford time. Bears. Can he get it up to somebody? Farina Pia, wonderful pass. Beautiful players. To end for Mullen. And the crowd loving it so much. There's such a din that Bismarck had to go and hit and earn the, the call again. Soaring take by Sia Kalisi. Bismarck has it. It's over the line. Try. And Bismarck to Plessis goes over Charles Smith's record of try score pass from referee. Blows his whistle. Well, it's been a day and a half yet. Nelson Mandela Sport and Recreation Day. South Africa victorious. 73 30. Argentina throwing every ounce of physicality into their defensive effort here. And then a loose pass. Just unable to kick their way out of trouble though. Beautiful hands again from LaRue under pressure. Engelbrecht and Bjorn Basson. Basson for the corner. Stain to level the scores. Tell me what was wrong with that. It, it crossed the line of touch, would be the call. Hold, hold.
Great opportunity for the Springboks. The beast goes to ground about one metre out. PNR. 18 is on there. He's over the line. Who's Towson? Time off. It must be close. We're going to check. We're going to go upstairs. Well, can you hear me? They're confident. Is there any reason not to award a try, please? Yes, I agree. I'm going to award a try. Absolutely. Thank you. What a start. A try to the Springboks through the replacement. Kuda Usthausen, his first ever test try, came from that penalty deep inside. Well, not deep inside, but certainly on the South African side of halfway. Crouch! Bind! Set! Yes, nine! No problem for Bernard. He drops it back to Stein. It's not out. Fell out. Tackle just inside Springboks territory. Lilia Fano. Genia. Now Cummins looking for work. Off the wing. Falau. Gummins. Got to be careful here not to go to one out runners against South Africa. And the steal is good. And that's why. Nine offside, so advantage here for the Springboks. Fabulin goes to ground. They look to release their outside men now. Jean de Villiers to Havana. Puts some footwork on, he kicks ahead, Brian Abena has been taken out, and it's advantage being played here for the Springboks. They've got numbers out to the right, De Villiers, the captain is over for a try, and what a try, Springboks. Wow. Superb stuff, they went wide, they chipped, they chased you, thought it was going to finish in a penalty, but then De Villiers. Came from the long run. A try from South Africa. Hard work now for Australia to chase this down. Oh yes, says Hanukkah Meyer. This so they got Kruger on there in Jersey 19. He seems to be calling the lineouts now in the white headgear. He's one of the five players that had a quick detour back to Clubland in France last week. He's a good lineout operator. Now it's Strauss, and again, all of these would just have to be careful with their discipline here. Yet one more penalty takes it beyond two converted tries behind. Strauss. PNR. Wide ball, LaRue, inside it goes, Kirshner! The gap opened up, it's a try to the Springboks, and you would think that the drought has been broken. Oh, they're showing the, Suncorp. showing the Wallabies how to attack. First it was Pina, they go to midfield, they come back the other direction. They're having a look at this, I don't know why. 31 points to 12. Problems, big problems. As Heineke Meyer feels it, lives it, breathes it. Oh, there's their reserves bench as well. Yanni Duplessis and Bismarck celebrating. It's about takes the kick off. What's another real problem for the Wallabies, Vado, is the fact that they still haven't opened up their account in the Rugby Championship. This is a third test match. And uh, it means that they haven't won or well, gained a bonus point now for so many of their recent tests. Finding it hard to score a try tonight, too. They haven't even finished within seven. So they haven't picked up a bonus point in their last 11 rugby championship matches. A telling stat. So play for a bit of pride here. They head to Perth next week to take on the Pumas who went down to the All Blacks earlier in the evening in Hamilton. But it was a spirited performance. And that's gone forward. And they might just pay again as LaRue picks it up. He's got Kirster on the outside. He won't need him. Philly LaRue is through. Try South Africa. Fourth try. Bonus point. 
It's turning out to be an absolute hammering by the Springboks over the Wallabies at their worst venue around the world, you'd think, Suncorp Stadium, but the hoodoo has been broken. Well, the beast celebrates, South Africa celebrates, LaRue's pretty happy as three Wallabies were lying on the ground as he crossed the try line. By before the little head fake pass, this time you think he's going to pass and he doesn't. Just pins the ears, Hanukkah Maya, delighted. surprising that the wick has been lit in this contest it was a huge hit on Carter and tempers flaring well I can't tell you what this is like it's an all-out brawl these teams have got so much riding on this it was a massive hit from Bismarck Duplessis a penalty has been given away I don't know if that's the right answer George, can you check if there is any for play if there's a retaliation the after that tackle, which is... I didn't see any for play, but ju just check about this. Come on, what was wrong with the tackle? No, the tackle, uh, I have no decision, but check if there is any, any for play afterwards. You call the number two. No arms there. Well, Roman yeah, no point. arms and shoulder in front, height. Yeah. For height and height. Yeah, height and shoulder and yes. no arms. We wait for, for the four play. Well, I'd afterwards. really like to see yes. a replay of that. What for you guys? When I blow my whistle, this is the end of the story. All right? Okay, here's this the pressure. The it's a story. bit from the outside. Right. I blow. Well, what about no arms? And then Mar Nonu has gone flying in. Couple of tempers flaring. Well, in the George meantime. Mate. I have a decision for you. Yes, please. Uh, there was nothing, no foul play, a lot of pushing and shoving. All right. But uh, you go with your decision. All right, thanks. Thank you. Number two. No arms and a height. That's ridiculous. It's the worst decision I've ever seen. Here's another look. He said no arms. And high. What, what is that right arm? It's wrapped around his back. Ah, oh, we don't play tiddlywinks. Dan Cotter, however, is not going to play any further part in this gun. An attempt here to drive the All Blacks over the line. So, taken down. Bismarck Duplessis in the boot. Over the five metre line they go. Still going. The box looking to repeat the feat of the first half. The Lua Tour's got him there though and made a hash of it. But he's offside apparently. It looks a bit like a dockyard brawl at the moment. There are players all over the place. Okay, away to the far win and the kick tipped back and field. Yes, I reckon he's got it. Patrick Lambie. If he's got it, it'll be his first try in Test Rugby. Pretty cleverly done. Yes, right George, on. please, can you check if there is a forward by 15 when he got the ball in the air, please? Knock on. Check if there was a forward knock on or a forward pass. Oh, okay. Knock on, no, knock on. Okay. It's a knock on he's looking for, absolutely. Perfectly no, the worded six, kick. The eight, 19 uh, again. It's just where the Jeff, yep. the, fo the player out there, LaRue, was it, who was coming uh, forward, whether he knocked it on. Pietel definitely got a hand on it. Absolutely. It's it's Kishner, Kishner, isn't it? All right. And check check as well. Look where he catches the ball. It looks as though it's uh, almost gone sideways. Green. The line, difficult to tell. Uh, start in front. Entitled with his momentum to plant the ball. No problem with that. The Springboks just one hiccup, throwing in to the line out in the Rugby Championship, and now Alberts is almost there. Dupria. 
for Mullen. He's a big man. Real pressure here for the Wallabies. And there it is, the first try of the match. And it goes to the hooker, Adrian. Yeah. Stay. Trevelyas. Really, no need. There was uh, enough break for all these players to go back to their position. No, no, no. John de Villiers just calming things down. He is such a mature captain, John de Villiers. Back then. Back, please. It was their foul play Back. afterwards. And he jumped into it as well. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of a lift there, though. Now, Just they're watching this the... on the big screen. Then there was a reaction. This, this is what starts it all. Willemal that's bringing down Hoover. I think that's a dangerous tackle. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's worth it's sitting on the... So it'll be a yellow card yeah, for Michael Hooper. I don't think it's but it's dangerous, um, okay? Like, the yeah. Wallaby Rose aren't bad enough. They're now down to 14 men. Dangerous tackle. Good take by the Springboks. Ready to move in for the kill now. Dupria. Goes wide, LaRue! Gets it down! They're going to go upstairs and check, but Billy... And has he got a try here? Yep. Looks all right. Alice Park in Johannesburg is the spiritual home of South African rugby and their record here backs that up with eight wins from 11 starts at this ground against the All Blacks. And this evening, the 2013 Rugby Championship is at stake as the leading two sides in the competition go head-to-head. Still on the Springbok side for Dupria. Stain lobs it away here for the Mullen. Clean break. A better. Test try number 52 for Brian Habana. The string, Springbok strike back. Well, what I have been impressed with so far, the movement in this game is the actual changes of the angles of Mornay Stain. Now he switched it from the far side. In Springbok territory as Dupria cleans it out. 
Now here's Elberts. Oh, beautiful pass to Habana. Could he get a second? You bet he could. What a try. Wow, what a try. The fans are excited. Why shouldn't they be? It was a fantastic counter-attack from the Springboks off the Israel dad kick. But not only that, there was some skill level in this. The finish from Habana, well, we'll get to that in a moment. First of all, we're having a look up top for something. Because he's he taking it quickly. Saw the ball. Quick tap from the Springboks. The prayer goes close. Here Out to go. LaRue. LaRue. LaRue's over. Well, they did show great resilience to the All Blacks. They held their, held their line. Messam got Sinbin, to be fair. Problems again for the All Blacks. Stiencamp. McCaw makes the tackle. Now Dupria. Stain de Villiers. Over the top of Barrett. De Villiers scores. Here's the bonus point that the Springboks are after. Massive moment. And a massive man for the Springboks this year steps up. Jean de Villiers. Alan Wynne Jones wins Wales' first line out. Scott Williams, the direct line. Richard Hibbard. Jonathan Davis, little variation. Pat Lambie does well. No scrum half yet for South Africa. There is now France Malherba. Spain. Brian Habana against Richard Hibbard, the hooker. George North is beaten by Habana. This Mark Duplessis. Liam Williams can't tackle him. The offload to Jean de Villiers. De Villiers is over. Adam Roland awards the try. Fantastic breakout by South Africa. Well, that's a reward for ambition. Could easily have uh, chosen to kick the ball for territory there. Didn't do so. And once I bet when Brian Habana looked up and saw Richard Hibbard there, he uh, chuckled to himself. What a fantastic run by the South African icon. They feel know, they've got know, Wales I'm... on the back foot at the moment. And also, if you're going to drop a all, drop it early. Alberts. More! Once! On comes In the, the side, drive. three red. This time it's Adam Jones who can't get it. Try awarded. The power of the Springbok pack. Oh, they are an immense force at the moment. Bismarck Duplessis comes up for the ball. LaRue. Dupriya. Clever play by the scrum half. Reese Priestland. Great work by Jacques Fouri and Fouri Dupriya. That is a Scotland don't oppose that, just going for the defensive shot, but it's spun away at the side, and South Africa, an easy score for the line, it seems down, it goes try, is given, it is given now, and it was very simple in the end for South Africa, Adrian Strauss getting the plaudits, but the man coming out with it is Willem Albert, trip to the depths of the South African half, Maitland tries to smuggle it on to Murray Lowe, and lead long to Jackson, it's loose now, Willie LaRue is away, and nobody is going to catch Willie LaRue, Nick DeLuca trying to come across, but interception gives him the try, gives South Africa their second, it comes from Scotland's first real attack of the game, but the second try comes nonetheless. Three starts, South Africa have it safely enough. There is Alberts again. There's LaRue. 
Oh, and Willie LaRue through again and pass another tackle. Two men in front of him, chips wide for JP Peterson to run onto it. Peterson gets there and he will score. What a try from South Africa. Scotland's defence slipped away a little bit, but made by Willie LaRue and scored by Peterson. A genius from Willie LaRue. He basically went to the line, just produced a fantastic step. Scored once in the match from this very same distance. This time Strauss goes long, taken in by Vermeulen, try and spin away again, which they do. Here comes the drive, carbon copy once again over the line. The try is given. Deja vu, another try for South Africa, now some tempers free. Hamilton and Gray and Vermeulen. Good hard stare and... today the headline was France fit the bull bars you suspect they're going to need them with the accuracy of those kicks the length and the height and be able to compete oh Bryce Dula does beautifully well there but Morgan Parra charged down and JP Peterson scores the try for South Africa well we expected the heavy roller from the box must be considering a yellow card at some point. Repeatedly freaking in the danger zone. Released again, just short. Seems to be the way for the Barbarians at the moment. Just short, but not now. That is it. I think that's Duplessis who went forward. And see, it is Bismarck Duplessis. The man who scored most tries for South Africa from the position of Hooker. Scores now for the Barbarians. The last chicken set, maybe not this time. Marisa, probably trying to strike the one to make it here. That's exactly what the captain does do, but three spots are then coming in at the side of Fiji get the penalty. Tikra Tuma's off. He's tapped and he's gone. It's charged down. A bit of pit ball. Who's got it for Mueller? I don't think the referee's blown, no he hasn't, Vermeer has gone and threw it underneath the post and for once Fiji will be regretting the quick tap. the fight. 